ba ba ba. All right. So I'm back here working in this, uh, what is it, like a Japanese style accordion sketchbook. Look, I'm a little hesitant saying it's Japanese style. That's just what it said on the packaging. I've never been to Japan. I've never studied Japanese culture. Uh, I don't really know if this is anything like what they do in Japan, but it's just one way of talking about it. It zigzags back and forth and folds up. It's one big page. I think it's like 19 feet long when it's all done or something like that. Almost 20 feet. And it'll be one big long picture. Uh, I think when I'm done with these two this, these two panels, I guess I'll call it, it'll be uh, the full picture here so far is like 20 inches or something. I could have the measurements all wrong. I, I pulled out my tape measure at one point and measured it 20 inches maybe. And some inches tall. And it's been good. I like it. It's hard to scan in a lot of the uh, the the, the fo automatic photo merge function of several different scans with Photoshop. That's how I combine it. I don't know how I'll do it when it's the whole big thing. It seems like it might be a huge pain, but it's probably worth it. I mean, what could you do with a big, long picture that's 20 feet long when it's over? Make scarves? Make flags? Like pennants? Make... Uh, 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 really, really, really wide posters. Those would be hard to frame. Custom framing little things is even expensive. Custom framing in general. Anyways, at the time of my telling this, look, of course, all, all art is open to interpretation, okay? But at the time of my telling this, it strikes me that so far at this moment, it could be different in the past, it could be different in the future, but at the time of my telling this, this strikes me as the story of a man. A man driven to madness, okay? Because he made the mistake of watching TV shows too carefully. And that can be a big mistake sometimes. It can, uh, it can affect the, your enjoyment of the TV shows. Sometimes you have to be careful not to watch the behind-the-scenes stuff. But his main mistake was he looked too carefully at the snow and TV shows and movies. I think it all started when he watched a behind-the-scenes thing on a special director's cut um, behind-the-scenes disc of a Lord of the Rings DVD way, way back in the day, and they showed them walking up uh, on some mountain, and they're talking about... It turns out that all this snow, right? He's looking very closely at this stuff, and it just looks like it's not actually anything like snow, but just shredded up. Shredded up bits of styrofoam being blown all about them. And no matter what he does, he any scene in the snow after this, he can't enjoy the TV show. He's just staring at the snow and how it doesn't really stick to anything. And the people in the TV shows, they never put on hats. It just And the little bits of styrofoam just kind of stick to their hair and it never melts. And... It just looks so fake, right? And then it takes it one step further, and he's thinking, wait, if this isn't real snow, first of all, they're, that means they're probably in a studio. And second of all, uh, they're probably burning up in those big coats and robes and furs they're wearing. They've got to be roasting instead of being cold like they're supposed to be cold. And And it just totally ruins it for him and he wants he's watching the tv shows because he wants to relax and enjoy it but he can't anymore and this is this a dichotomy i'll say so if this isn't a dichotomy then i am or he is uh well he's redefining it this dichotomy drives him to the brink of madness in fact maybe over it and he swears off tv he swears off uh, computers in general, and his phone, and he moves out into a little hut in the middle of nowhere, and he begins shouting and thinking his thoughts really hard at the wooden walls. He has a table and a chair and a shelf with some pots and pans on it, but he doesn't have a stove. He cooks some things outside on a campfire, and all of his soups and stews smell like smoke. But that's all he's got, and at least... 
I can breathe out here and not think about how these people are waiting around in flakes of styrofoam, pretending to be cold, but they're really burning up. Right after the shot ends, do they just peel off all of their costumes and go stand in front of a fan to cool down? He doesn't know. He doesn't have to think about this stuff anymore. He's out in the middle of nowhere. Just breathing. So that's that's what I'm imagining this drawing is about. But, but, it might be about something totally different. It probably is, actually, as the drawing progresses. I mean, even if you look at a different, you know, just... You can look at just one little part of the drawing or the whole thing. Maybe these, all these dudes in the drawing are the same person. Maybe they're different people. I don't know. Who am I to say? Um, let me know if you think this drawing is about something in particular, or it could be about nothing. It could just be a bunch of lines squished together on the paper uh, that sometimes look like something and sometimes don't look like anything. Um, this, the second half here, I mean, I'll call it the second page page spread like it's kind of a weird thing to talk about because it's all one page but the second page it took me about 18 hours over three days I think and the first page somehow only took me like like half that time maybe like 12 hours and I think the reason is I put that big dude in the middle there with the sea cucumber eyes on the first page and that and he's just mostly big empty space right on the paper the rest of the space is packed, crammed in with a bunch of little lines and details. And that's what takes most of the time for drawing. And the second page is a lot. There's no big empty spaces filled with big bulbous dudes, right? So that's why I guess it took more time. And then it took even almost, I mean, it took a whole nother day just to edit it down. And I didn't even edit all of it. I chopped out big pieces. I don't know if you can tell, but I did. You, you don't see every me drawing every line here. I'm sorry, but you don't. It's probably better that way, because if, I don't know, you know, sometimes you have to make some creative, some editorial decisions for the betterment of everyone involved, for me, for you, okay? Anyways, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, here's to uh, the next page and the rest of the scroll. It's kind of a scroll, a zigzaggy folded up scroll. I'm inspired. All right. Hope you have a good day. Uh, goodbye. Goodbye.